and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to experiment with working with text on a model. To begin with, we're going to look at just applying simple text to a shape. So to do that, I'm going to start by creating a simple sketch right on that face. I'm going to go to the ABC icon right here, and I'm going to use the word Top Solid just for fun. Now here, it is imperative that you use profiles. If that is unchecked, it will not create text that you can extrude, okay? Um, another thing to point out really fast is you can come here to font and you can play with the font you're using as well as the size of the font. For example, I'll set mine to three quarters of an inch so we can see it. Again, if I don't have profiles selected, here's what happens. If I select my text, click OK, I have text, but if I try to extrude it or do a boss with it, it just disappears. The solution there is edit the text and I just double click to edit it, activate profiles, and then Top Solid will automatically create profiles based on the text. So now if we go to Boss, you can see that it is adding our text as a Boss feature. If I click OK, now you can see Top Solid is engraved in 3D on there. Now, from there, you could also have gone to Pocket and gone down into the model to some blind depth. And now we have pockets with the TrueType font as well. Okay, let's take a look at the next sample. The next sample would be text on a curve. Again, it's a 2D feature, so I'm going to start with a sketch here. And I'm going to look straight at it this time. And now this time, let's go ahead and make a little arc really quick. Maybe like so. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and make our text. And again, we're going to say top solid. We'll make it a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more fun to see. Let's go ahead and make it maybe a half inch. Perfect. We'll go ahead and pop it right there. And now we're going to right click on the text. Oops. Did I do it in the wrong place? I did. Sorry. We want to do text on curve there. So we want the text to be top solid, the curve to be right here. You can reverse. Perfect. Set the size you want. Awesome. Let's get rid of this one. And now notice this is following that curve. Now, you probably want to constrain said curve so that your text can follow correctly, right? But you get the idea. Let's put this right here. Perfect. And let's put you right there. There we go. So now our text is following there, and because it was set to profiles, we can try to add a boss or an extrusion. But notice no boss or, no boss or pocket comes up, and that's because this arc is still there as a usable arc. So we want to convert this to construction. Now that it's construction, now we can do boss or pocket. And like that, we have our text on curve. Let's look at one more or two more samples. We're going to do one called 3D Trim. Now, here the first thing that I did is I created a plane on top. And I created my text on that plane, okay? And I created it well above where I want my final text to be. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my surface commands, and I'm going to go to the faces command. And I'm going to copy this surface right there. Perfect. Now, I can go and apply an offset to that. The offset represents the thickness of my text. So I'm going to say it's going to be an eighth inch. Perfect. Now that's an eighth inch up. Now I'm going to hide that surface for the moment. And I'm going to go back and do my text. Now the reason I made the surface first is because we're about to modify this face with these curves. Okay, So just makes more sense. If I go here and I go to boss, notice the boss is starting there going up. That doesn't make sense. How about if we change the limit type to be shape? Select the shape. Now it's going to go down to said shape. Perfect. Now it's part of this shape. Now I'm going to go turn on shape two. We'll go to trim and we're going to trim by shape. That's fine. Let's trim by this shape. Getting rid of the top side. That's perfect. Let's hide shape two. And now you have your 3D text on a 3D surface. There's one other way to do this. Let's go here to 3D text. Uh, face extrude sample. Again, same sample, but we're going to go a different route. 
to begin with, we're going to modify this face with these curves. We're going to do that using a command called imprint. Imprint allows us to take our profiles and modify, and here I have specific faces turned on, by the way, so that I only modify this face. I want to modify this face with these profiles. What this is going to do is this is going to project relative to this specific direction. So I'm going relative to the sketch axis. And it's going to divide this face into several faces based on these closed profiles. When I green check mark that, now you can see there's the outer face and there's each of these inner faces, which is perfect. From here, I can go to the shape command and go to extruded faces. This was a new command that came out in 7.12 or the 2018 version. So if I go to extruded faces, I can go ahead and I can select the face I want to extrude. And you have to do this one face at a time for right now. And we go to the Z axis. And now you can see it's extruding with the curvature. Let's put our push pin in. Perfect. Let's go select this one, Z axis. And you can see you get the same result as the last sample I gave you. You just do it without having to manually create the trimming surface. Now, at the end, once you have all of this done, these are each separate shapes, you'd want to unite those together. So we'd go to Shape Boolean, BN Boolean, modify this shape with these shapes here. And now that's part of that original model, and you've created your 3D text. Hope this helps. Have a great day.